you know, this this game this week has uh, got a lot of unique factors to it, uh, from how it came about to the guy coaching uh, at James Madison. He and I are, are extremely close. Coach Matthews, really, I, when I started my career at Marshall, he was the first defensive coordinator that I worked for. So. Uh, a lot of familiarity with uh, Coach Matthews and his family. Our families are extremely close. Uh, there's a couple of guys on our staff that actually played for him when we were together at Marshall and worked for him at James Madison. You know, we're used to waking up, having pregame meal, you know, meetings, and going to play. So it's going to be another six hours until we play. So it's a, it's a different kind of uh, mentality that you have to have throughout the day because if we wake up and and all the guys are you know jittery and ready to go and just ready to play you know they're going to be worn out by the time they get to the game at six o'clock so I'm going to have to make sure that everybody's sort of calm down and and just sort of a have a casual conversation for most of the morning and not get too wound up and trying to keep their minds you know on the game but not in the game per se you know like not not just ready to go right then and then we're going to have to turn it up, you know, about 3 o'clock. Then we can start getting ready to, to really turn it up and, and get after it. You know, it's a chance for our guys to go play um, against a team that's won the national championship, a guy that's been the national coach of the year, uh, you know, a program that's, uh, you know, doing extremely well. And, and the facility's great. I've had a chance to go up and see their facility. They've built new facilities. Their stadium really reminds me personally of Boise State uh, when we played out in Boise. Uh, Idaho in the early 90s. Uh, so they've done a great job with their facilities. Uh, and uh, you know, it's going to be a good challenge for our team. And it's going to be a, a lot of fun our first time on the road against a really good team. Uh, I think our guys are uh, going to be ready. They'll prepare hard. And they know what's ahead of them. And uh, it's going to be a good challenge for us and a lot of fun for our guys to go up and play in uh, Harrisonburg. Uh, they have a really good linebacker that can really flow and and, and really get after somebody with the ball. So we're going to have to make sure we get up on him and keep him blocked for the entirety of the play. You know, these guys are going to be um, um, just a really strong, disciplined, you know, defensive front. So the main thing that, that we've got to get through on the offensive line and, and, and that I've got to make sure that our guys do this, this week more than any weeks is to stay on our blocks and make sure we have those guys covered up for the entirety of the play to where they can't get off and make those plays. and. Where that you know where that linebacker can't use his speed and his ability. So if we covered him up and you know we have everybody covered up, they won't be able to make a you know impact on the game. Daquan Scott, yeah, he he's a really good player. Uh, and Coach Matthews' mentality, they're going to be able to run the ball. I mean, you're going to have to stop the run to to beat James Madison, and and uh, he's a very electric runner. You know, he can he can not only run inside, but he can get down the boundary on you pretty fast. Uh, I saw him two years ago when I was up there watching practice. You know, he's a young guy, and and uh, they they thought he had a really bright future at that time. And sure enough, he's he's uh, playing really well. I mean, they they came out against Akron and. You know, they just toe to toe with Akron, and we all know what Akron did last Saturday. So they, uh, th they're a talented group. He's a really good player, and and uh, you know, I think their offensive line's pretty good. Uh, their center started a lot of games, so that'll be a good challenge for our defense. I'm not, you know, I'm not going to go into the game and 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 show a, a fear of who we're playing. Uh, everybody's a respectable opponent, and, you know. This, everybody's talking about this game and how they're ranked and whatnot, but. You know, all three. You know, all the three previous teams that we played have been really, really respectable teams. So it's not a fact of you know, am I going to be worried about them? I'm going to go into the game the same way um, and play as hard as I can, and then let the you know, whenever the fourth quarter ends, we'll see what happens. You know, that kind of mentality. So I believe as long as everyone has that mentality and works as hard as they possibly can on every play and try to make, you know, try do what they're supposed to do every play, then I think it'll take care of itself. You know, we just we got to go up there and and play a really good game against a really good opponent. It's gonna be a lot of fun for our guys. You know, I'm sure there'll be some some of our young guys got you know they little wide eyed. I'm sure early and that's okay. Just go have some fun and enjoy this environment. And and as I tell the team all the time, you know, you, you just heard Daniel talk about it. You you know, do your job, knock somebody down, and don't worry about the scoreboard. Just play as hard as you can play and and you know, something good will happen for us. So uh, we got to take care of 
you know, not make mistakes like we did last week. We go up there and turn it over seven times, it'll be a long night. So, you know, we, we can't do that. And uh, we got to play really, really good in special teams and, and uh, you know, play good in the red zone and we'll be all right.